will ever be my key to memory. At the end of day when work was over, and when the evening meal was done, Dad would read to us from the family Bible, and we count our many blessings one by one. I can see us sitting round the table when from the family Bible that would read. I can hear my mother softly singing Rock of Ages, Rock of Ages, but for me. Not the world of ours is filled with trouble. This old world is able better be We found more Bibles on the table And mothers singing rock of ages left for me I can see us sitting round the table When from
Christ's body and blood for the forgiveness of sins. Let us praise the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all God's servants who groan under the burdens of this earthly tent and long to be clothed with his eternal life, which will swallow up all our mortal sorrow. And that God would give them good courage to walk by faith and not by sight, to mourn the dead in the hope of the resurrection, and to make it their aim to please him while here in the body. Until at last, we are all at home with Christ. Let us praise the Lord. Lord yes. Heavenly Father, from whom all fatherhood is named, we give you thanks for earthly fathers. Give them confidence in their station and zeal for their task to care for their families faithfully. Make them examples to their children of godly life and love of your word. Bless their work of bringing up children in the fear and instruction of the Lord, and give them the comfort of your absolution over all their shortcomings. Gather us together with all our fathers to your eternal household. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We give thanks to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right to give him thanks and grace. It is truly good, right, and salutary that we should at all times and at all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who out of his love for his fallen creation humbled himself by taking on the form of a servant, becoming obedient unto death, even death upon a cross. Risen from the dead, he has freed us from eternal death and given us life everlasting. Therefore, with angels and our angels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, And lead 